disobedient son not honoring his father or mother is a disgrace and curse amongst our people. This edifying video won't be long, but it's going to be about the altercation between Tip T.I. Harris and his son, King Harris, and T.I.'s wife, who is King's mother as well, Tiny. How pretty much King was not acting like one. He was acting more like a serf or vagabond, so to say, towards his mother and father by showing just absolute disrespect and embarrassment. I got secondhand embarrassment. Because of somebody who's been coddled, you know, and doesn't understand what it is to have to go through that stress or struggle. So this is Isaiah 45 and 10. Woe unto him that saith unto his father, what begattest thou? Or to the woman, what hast thou brought forth? Woe means destruction. So in layman terms, pretty much a disrespectful child. The Lord said, destruction unto you, because you're out of pocket. Nonetheless, I'm going to play a little, I'm going to play this video, and then I'm going to continue on with the lesson. Shalom and peace. Yeah, the man, T.I.P. the King, good man, right here on the west side, man, you know what I'm saying? This is all urban central, all right? Cause y'all gonna throw me out. Don't nobody else wanna hear you. If I ever get kicked out, if, look, 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 watch it. If I ever get kicked out of this Mercedes Benz Stadium, no. I'ma go to the original Mercedes Benz Stadium. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Where's the original Mercedes Benz Stadium? Listen, listen, smell like peace. Listen, listen. Y'all stop playing. Y'all stop playing. Y'all stop playing. Guess what? Where the Saints locker room? Where they at? Man, man, I ain't even really trying to walk out with y'all, right? Let's be honest. That's pro what? Bro, y'all niggas is capping the light. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rawa, Cha, Kodash, double honors to my elders, a great millstone, talking this truth to the spirit, single honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third. And to the confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom, shalom. <clears throat> Second Timothy chapter three, verse one through four. This, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of them own selves. Forgive me, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient. To parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, 
false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. These are the times that we're living in. But the focal points in that passage would be lovers of their own selves, proud, disobedient to parents, unthankful, without natural affection. So in other words, all of this goes back to um, not just T.I. son. Hell, that's the mentality of our people. And it's really a plague to be at such a low state as we are as a people and to still be so proud. Like Jay could be living in a project. Go cop him a new pair of J's. But he's still living at his mom's house and be proud as hell about that. Right. And it's like looking at T.I. son. Really what it was, his mother and father was kind of clowning him a little bit, jokingly, right? But they told the truth, like, you want to say that we didn't raise you. You was raised over there with your grandma, things like that. But, bruh, you got kicked out of a mansion. Let that sink in. It ain't like you got kicked out of a shack and then you was in the streets. You was kicked out of a mansion. Your father lived a lifestyle you didn't have to live. And this reminds me of um, Michael Irvin's son. Michael Irvin was like, he said on national TV, I forgot exactly his words, but something to the extent of you want to be out here a rap- rapping, like smoking weed and and doing all of this. And he was like, you was raised in a gated community. Like you was raised in the suburbs. You was raised to be in law-abiding, law-abiding you know, um, upstanding citizen that law by the upstanding part i put in but pretty much he wasn't raised to be in those streets because with your father your mother of course your loved ones have money and they want to move you to a different place or give you a certain lifestyle you you now you become kind of entitled everything being handed to you you didn't have to go out and get it in the mud so you're unappreciative of what your father or your mother had to go through just for you to get that and that's what a lot of people in the society um, tend to um not understand that like you're cow. Even in a society where a woman will have the audacity to say, "I don't need a man," when you're living in a society that was created by men, the common conveniences were created by men. If your house is on fire, you want to have a fireman, right? But I'm, I'm saying things of that nature. That's the world that we live in. But nonetheless. Couple more precepts and I'm gonna close out. Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 18 through 21. This is an actual law. Pay attention. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, mm -hmm, and that when they have chastened him, will not hearken unto them. Now, you know, T, I put him in the headlock, said, But you can't do nothing with me. Then he all in the back talk about I going to the Saints locker room and they like that's prohibited. Even after the disciplinary action, which was very mediocre, which I'm not saying was wrong, but nah, he just put him in the head like, hold on, son, what you talking about, boy? Now you want to be all in the back talk. I'm going to the original Mercedes Benz Stadium. Don't you understand the reason why you got access to all that stuff is because of who your father, not you, boy? What's your rap sheet other than running your mouth for being disrespectful because you feel like you entitled? The cats around your age, who you grew up with or whatever, they didn't have they 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 don't have the lifestyle you have. People will literally kill, and I hate to say it that way, to even be close to where you're living at. And you want to be degenerate, you want to go backwards in life. That's the mentality of our people, man. We cursed. That's that curse, man. Amongst the nation of Israel. Cause you could be living in a projects, ghetto, housing, wick, snap, all of that. And be just like him. Or your father can give you any and everything you ever want and still be just like him. What's the difference? Israelites, right? Continuing on with Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 19. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of his city and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of the city, This our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. 
He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones, that he die. So shall thou put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear in fear. And that's embarrassing. Secondhand embarrassment I got, honestly, because we as a people are Israelites. And to see someone like you who are privileged to act as such a, a raunchy behavior, man, is really disheartening. But nonetheless, you know, what goes around comes around. So I noticed a lot of of uh, entertainers or people of a certain status, we look at their children, their children are like just burned out. Their children are just like, eh, because what their fathers, or the mainly their fathers, what their fathers had to go through to get to where they were, in the in the scrutiny and things of that nature, children just poop poop. Poo, they just poop poo that like it ain't nothing. Like there was a time. Remember, it said the, the mother, the father brought the son towards the elders. If one of your neighbors found out that she was cutting up a school, they beat your tail. Then when you got home, mama beat your tail. Then as soon as the papa got home, he beat your tail. That's a that was that's what you call a community. We don't have that anymore. Right when it said you bring them to the elders, that will be the community. The elders will be your next door neighbor, Mr. Johnson, you know, or your auntie Beverly or whoever. You you probably got four whoopings before you actually got a whooping by Papa. <laughs> I'm just saying in general, but that's just the curses that we're under, you know. But remember, the honor thy father, honor thy mother. That's one of the quote unquote top ten. When I say quote unquote, everybody claims only ten commandments, but it's over six hundred. That's one of the top commandments to remember. Honor thy father and honor thy mother. Because I remember um, my mother's um, ex-husband used to always say this. I respect that man to this day. He said, um, you know, um, we brought, he said, we brought you into this world and we'll take you out. <laughs> like I've heard comedians say, what? Don't you not make another one of you? I get rid of you and make another one of you. Jokingly, but honestly, like, you know you're replaceable, boy. I'm not saying that they'll take their son just for no reason, but you you catch the drift, right? And that's true, man. That's your father and your mother. They've done things for you that you can't even recollect in your mind. Right? Understand. My father did not raise me. I met my father when I was an adult, legally. A legal adult. To this day, I do anything that man asks me to do because he's my father. Whatever happened between me and my mother, that relationship has nothing to do with me. I'm, I need to focus on my, my relationship with him. Just like I'm focusing on my, not only with my biological father, but also my relationship with the father of spirits, Yahweh. So let me close out with these precepts. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 3, verse 2 through 4 and 8. For the Lord hath given the father honor over the children. And hath confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Facts. Whoso honoreth his father maketh an atonement for his sins. And he that honoreth his mother is as one that layeth up treasure. Honor thy father and mother both in word and deed that a blessing may come upon thee from them. So that dishonorment, you're not going to get a blessing, my young man. You may possibly get the curse unless you repent because pride goes before destruction and pride was not made for men. And let me say this little side note before I go. Notice how I keep saying, honor thy father, then thy mother, thy father, then thy mother, thy father, then thy mother. That's how you know we live in a gynocentric society. Mother's Day, churches be packed. Festivities, advertisement, commercials, all that stuff is all out there. Father's Day, tumbleweed, crickets. Because we, this society is backwards. Surely you're turning the thing upside down should be esteemed as a potter's clay. A, a quote-unquote black, because we're not black, but I'm just saying black. A black father with his son. Y'all call him high yellow, whatever you want. They Israelites. And the way he acts towards his father just goes to show you, man, that we are in the last days and we are in perilous times. Honor thy father and honor thy mother. Just don't be concerned with what they may or may not have done. You can only be concerned with what you will do. Right? And that's something that my brother needs to understand. My father 
got uh, I'm gonna close out. My father got um a sheet of my pregnant and she wanted to give my, my brother up for adoption. My father and my aunt, man, I'm talking about like scoured through everything, every possible way of trying to get him to adopt him. But the mother gave him up for adoption. And then as he became older, he met up with my father. And every day, like almost every time he met with my father, I was an argument. I was resenting. You know, I mean, he be talking mad crazy. I told him one time, yo, bro, this don't come around anymore. Because that's my father. We didn't, We wasn't raised with our father. But I'd be damned if I'm going to even let my own brother disrespect my father. But he don't act stupid when I'm around. But nonetheless, though, that's just another example. Like, bro, Pop said auntie tried to get you. Why are you mad at them? It was your mama who did it. But nonetheless, you should still honor your mother, bro, and honor our father. So with that being said, I pray you was, oh, my sister can't stand him, but I love, uh, you know. Anyway, so with that being said, I pray you were edifying, fed, stay in the spirit. Don't fear it, just endear it. Ask for forgiveness, pray without ceasing, stay humble, remain diligent. Quran Allah, both of the ball. Shalom. Oh, and my sister can't stay my brother, not our father. <laughs>